What is up everyone and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon, since patapos na rin yung 2020, this year may not be the best year for us. But here, uh, I would like to share with you 10 things that I learned this 2020. And yung unang-una kong nilista dito is Number one I learned to know myself more And I was able to know the people around me more Everyone was stuck here So nagkaroon ako ng time to, to know myself more Ano yung strengths ko Ano yung mga naging weaknesses ko Natuto lang ako na kilalanin yung sarili ko Kasi nag a din eh Iba yung pagkakakilala ko sa sarili ko when I was younger. Um, nagkaroon ng adjustment. So, mas nakilala ko pa yung sarili ko. Even more. Pati family ko, mas nakilala ko sila. Lalo na everyday kami magkasama dito sa bahay. So, ayun. Somehow, I was able to learn um, to know myself more and the people around me. And so, I was able to learn things as they are and appreciate um, the little things. Uh, I was able to appreciate my work kahit na may pandemic kumbaga na daming nawala ng trabaho but I was just grateful that I have although um, nagkaroon din ng, ng struggle yung company namin so nagkaroon ng time na um, nabawasan yung salary namin para lang makaahon pa unti-unti but still I was just grateful na meron akong trabaho and meron akong income na naitutulong para sa family yung mga tipong kahit wala, naubusan kami ng pagkain dito. Mga na-appreciate ko na na sama-sama pa rin kami. May pa rin kami kahit papano. Kahit na paulit-ulit minsan. Siyempre, if you if na-appreciate mo yung mga malilit na, na bagay like that, na buhay ka pa, na healthy yung family mo, healthy yung relatives mo, healthy ka, ganyan. So, parang it will give you this mindset na to keep on going. To be, um, to be positive and to be To, to keep on fighting, di ba, na kaya mo yan, kumbaga, nakakayanan mo, unti-unti, di ba? Number three, uh, I was able to learn to balance the things and prioritize my goals. So, nung nagkari ng pandemic, I have my full-time job, I have my part-time job, which is uh, a financial advisor, and I also do podcasting. Ayan, so may ko in sessions ako. So, pakinggan nyo. I also do the vlogging, this one. And of course, hindi mo wala dyan yung service ko pa rin sa community namin sa Lord's Flock. So, ang dami kong ginagawa. And I would like to to explore on myself kung ano yung mga gusto kong hobbies, ano yung mga gusto kong gawin. And hindi ko sila majoggle ng sabay-sabay. So, nahirapan ako hang hanggang sa dumating ako sa point na Nahirapan ako na hindi ko na magawa, hindi ako makapag-focus na maayos sa work ko, sa part-time job ko, hindi, hindi naging consistent yung pag-podcast ko, yung pag-vlog ko, ganyan. So, I had to weigh things and I had to eliminate. So, I learned how to eliminate the things that are less important to me and I was able to prioritize the things that I gave or I give value more. Ayan, so, syempre hindi ko pwede bitawin yung full-time job ko. And passion ko talaga yung podcasting, itong vlogging. Siyempre, hindi naman pwede mawala sa community. So, I had this difficult job to let go on being a financial advisor for the meantime. Well, di naman um, malabo na pwede yung bumalik. Pero for the meantime, um, gin-give up ko muna siya. Ayan. Pero don't get me wrong, um, being a financial advisor gave me so many opportunities, so many learnings. It also developed me as a person. So also, if wala ka pang life insurance and investment, kumuha ka na and mag ka na sa mga nagme-message sa'yo na financial advisors. Promise, they will help you in the future. Ayan, so other than that, yun, you just have to learn to prioritize your goals and balance things. Siyempre, ito pandemic, di ba, people were, were looking forward to 2020, di ba, parang it's gonna be our year, it's gonna be the best year kasi 2020, di ba, it's like a perfect vision. Pero, COVID happens, di ba? So, despite those things, ang dami ko naging plans, ang dami kong gustong gawin this year, 
pero I was able to learn how to depend on his plans. Kumbaga, on God's plan. Diba? So, I was able to trust in him more. Um, yung mga nangyayari sa amin sa bagay-bagay, sa mga nangyayari sa amin ngayon. I'm just learning na to trust uh, trust God more and hindi ko hawak or hindi ko kayang kontrolin yung mga bagay na hindi ko talaga kayang kontrolin. Siyempre, kasi siya lang naman talaga yung pwedeng gumawa nun, di ba? Pero, alam na nga yung pandemic, ang pag nahihirapan kami, nagkukulang uh, kami financially, ganyan, or ako, nagkakaroon ako ng mga anxieties, ganyan. So, I just depend on him and trust in him more. I learned how to be challenged so that I can improve myself more. Kumbaga, ang, ang naging, ang, ang naturo sa akin in 2020 is, if hindi ka na, na nahihirapan sa isang bagay, parang rut, routinary na siya sa'yo, parang there's no room for improvement. So, uh, importante pa rin na nasa challenge ka na, na nahihirapan ka because na ano eh, na-improve mo yung sarili mo eh. Diba? Kaya nga, eh, there is room for improvement. So, you just have to be challenged always. Kasi kapag madali na sa'yo isang bagay, parang kampante ka na. I learned to embrace challenge. Ito, ito itong pandemic. This is a challenge. So, I was able to 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 give and to bring out the best in me. Kung ano yung alam ko na kaya ko. And I try to in, to evolve myself and be a better person. Diba na yan, paglabas natin ngayon sa pandemic, Um, we can be better. Well, it's not gonna be easy for everyone. Mahirap pa rin naman talaga. But the the person that we are before the pandemic started is totally different from who we are going to be after the pandemic. And I'm sure we are braver, we are stronger, we are better. We learned so many things um, despite this pandemic. So, ayun, I just learned how to be more challenged so that I can improve myself better. The sixth lesson that 2020 taught me is to to be involved more, to give more. Ayan, so lalo na nung, I can remember nung nag-start yung 2020 talaga, yung pandemic. Um, I have a friend na uh, we have this I'm thinking to help out the frontliners so we, we we began to to organize a, a small project na, na tinawag namin na hope project yung spelling na hope is h o p p e para baga parang we are um helping them to have more ppes kasi at that time kulang sa face mask kulang sa mga gamit kumbaga Um, wala pa, kulang-kulang pa talaga yung gamit natin dito sa Pilipinas at that time. So, we we thought of that project para maka-help kami sa frontliners. Ayun, so I tried to be involved. Siyempre, para sa bayan, para sa bansa natin. So, yun, I learned how to be involved so that you can also um, participate in this kind of things and makatulong ka sa kapwa Pilipino mo. And sobrang sarap ng feeling ang ganoon, di ba? So, ilalagay ko yung poster dito ng project namin. Ayan. So, hindi ko na din ma-remember kung magkano yung na-raise namin funds at the time. Siguro, ilalagay ko na lang din dito. And, ayan, asarap lang sa, feel, sa feeling na na nakatulong ka na and ang dami din na natulungan. Ayan. And of course, another thing is yung uh, giving na nung, nung birthday ko, nung 26 7th birthday ko, ay alam niyo na age ko. So, no birthday ko, um, nagbigay ako ng burger sa mga matatanda, sa mga lolos and lolas, kasi yung isa yun sa mga weaknesses ko talaga. So, um, 2020 taught me, or it gave me talaga na opportunity to give more and to help other people as well. Kasi, kung blessed na blessed tayo, dapat tayo din uh, nag-help out sa mga nangangailangan din na friends natin or sa mga hindi natin kakilala na alam natin hihirapan sila. I was able to learn to do things that you wanna do. And, and nagkaroon din ako ng why not concept. And because um, if you don't know pa, meron kaming show, Perky Friday. So, meron kaming guest doon. 
um, si PJ Lanod, isa siyang uh, motivational speaker and entrepreneur na may ari na isang sikat na restaurant. So, uh, we were able to guest him dun sa um, show namin, uh, online show. So, he just taught us the why not concept na parang, why not? Why not? Diba? Parang, if you have this opportunity, why not? Why not grab it? Diba? So, parang pag may dumating na ganito, why not? Ba't ka pa mag inerte diba? It allowed me to to give me so many opportunities because of that concept. Lalo na nitong, itong 2020, diba? Da- nagkaroon ng mga online seminars, nagkaroon ng mga webinars, mga ganyan. So, may mga lumapit din sa akin na friends ko na asking if I'm available to become um, a resource speaker, some webinars, mga ganyan. So, with that, in my mind, the why not concept, um, ayun, nag ako. So, um, nagkaroon ako ng experience. I was able to to practice myself again when it comes to um, speaking in front of people virtually. Ganyan. So, ang sarap din sa feeling na ganun na parang wala namang mawawala sa'yo. Um, nadagdagan pa. Ayan. So, kung meron man kayong mga dreams or mga gusto kayong gawin sa buhay nyo, just do the things that you wanna do and think about the why not concept. And huwag kayong mahihiya. Just do it. Ayan. Sabi nga ni Yoda, do or do not, there is no today. I was, I was able to learn how to be innovative and initiate change. Ayan. And also to help people adapt to change. Ayan. So, nitong 2020 talaga, nung nag-start yung pandemic, syempre, naging work from home, wala akong magawa, dito lang sa bahay. So, what I did, well, nakaka-proud, natutuwa lang din ako na I was able to invest earlier with um, the things that I need, like um, the the studio setup, yung microphone, yung lights. So I was able to invest in those things. I became flexible. So ko ani nang yare, and nakatawa lang na um, I try to innovate myself. So kung ganito yung work ko, I try to make myself comfortable with my workplace so I bought things that I think that would help me more or that would make me feel comfortable in a working area I kind of renovated my room ganyan so I kapaga innovate lalo na ngayong nag-change yung setup kayo like with the work from home kasi you have to adapt to the environment kung ano yung nagiging new normal ngayon so you have to adapt and lalo na ngayong pandemic um, you also help other people to adapt to change. So kami, okay lang naman kami sa gadgets and sa mga technology. So nakakatuwa din. It's another bonus lesson na to also help our parents adapt sa change. I was able to learn to be more communicating. Ayan, or to communicate more. Ayan, so lalo na ngayon, nawala yung physical touch. So nawala yung yung presence kumbaga so it's always more on the talking and how you communicate with other people virtually so ayun so nagkaroon ako nag, nag kumbaga nag change ako especially right now with our relationship with my relationship with my girlfriend with Denz um kumbaga I can say na nag um, level up yung communication key namin lalo na ngayon pandemic na we don't see each other that often talagang um, nag-level up I can say nag-level up talaga yung communication namin as a couple na if you have problems kailangan talaga maayos ako mas naging open ako mas naging vocal ako sa kanya and like before and I'm happy naman na she was able to 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 teach me then on how to be more communicating di ba as a guy ang hirap mag-express ng feelings pero ayun kailangan din natin matutunan yun na na lalo na ngayon virtual na hindi madali isabihin sa kausap natin kung anong gusto natin ipakita unless we become more expressive or we let it out talaga kung anong gusto natin na sabihin or malaman nung gusto natin kausap. So, ayun, it's a thing that I learned talaga niya. Lalo na kahit na hindi naman sa relationship mo with their friends, with my family, lalo na dito sa bahay, we're able to communicate more, to to 
to say things more, to make kwento more. So, communication is the key talaga. Na if you have problems, if may mga questions kayo or may mga clarifications kayo, communication is the real key. Na yun talaga para masolve yung problem. Well, it's not just about the communication with everyone. It's of course the communication with the God. Ayan, so, hindi pwedeng mawala talaga yung communication mo with God na na hindi mo siya pwedeng kausapin maya at maya. So, it's also important na kausapin natin siya. Lalo na if you have problems, itong nangyayaring to, wag lang naman pag may problem. But of course, if we have blessings, we have to communicate it to Him. If we are thankful of many, many things that we have right now, kailangan din natin maging communicating, or kailangan din maging expressive sa Kanya. So, the last thing that I would like uh, to share with you, the last lesson that I learned this 2020 is, of course, family is love. <laughs> yeah, family is all you have. Yeah, and so, at the end of the day, all you have is your family. Diba? Na parang learn to appreciate them more. Learn to understand them more. Be more patient with each other, with your siblings, with your parents. Ganyan. So, Lalo na daming nawala ng mahal sa buhay ngayon. So, I was able to learn how to be more patient with them, to appreciate them more, to communicate with them more because sila yung nakakasama natin lagi sa bahay. It's not because we, we don't have a choice, but because yun talaga yung role natin. Diba? Yun yung role natin uh, as a brother, as a kuya, as an, as an anak, ganyan, as a kapatid yun yung kailangan din natin gawin at end of the day we have our family and we have to love them we have to appreciate them because hindi naman yung um, turo sa atin ni Lord na uh, love our family love our neighbors kaya ayun uh, if you still have your family with you love them appreciate them um, say I love you to them thank them don't take them for granted dahil ngayong pandemic ang daming namatayan ang daming nawalan no sa mahal ng ang daming nawalan ng mahal sa buhay covid man or hindi covid nasa lanta man sila ang daming naapektuhan so tayo let's just try to be appreciative of our family of our relatives or of our neighbor in general Many things that I learned this 2020 and hindi ko na ma-share yung iba. Alam ko, ang dami ko nang nasabi pero ang dami ko pang sasabihin sa inyo. Pero for the meantime, yun na lang muna yung top 20 na nasa list ko, na nasa mind ko. So, I hope you learned uh, at least something from the lessons that I shared with you and I just hope na kayo din yung dami kayo natutunan this 2020 good man or bad man i know that we will get better next year and to the many more years to come ayan so i think that's gonna be it for me vlog today abangan yung part two so if you enjoyed our video for today just click like share comment and subscribe and don't forget to turn on that notification bell para may updated kayo sa next nating vlogs so yun lang guys merry christmas and happy new year bye